there are four areas that I would like to see, and I'm sure the civil service is hard at work on this already. One is what we'll call general trade negotiations and trade deals. The second is in terms of financial services, where I think the particular problem is that you know, not being in the euro area and not being committed to that project, which obviously we aren't, that means we're not going to be at the forefront of setting financial regulations. And it, it's already clear, you can see this, one of the problems that I saw and we had in our discussions was that the principle of the Basel Agreement on regulation is to set a minimum level of regulation to ensure a level playing field. There was no restriction on countries wanting to impose higher regulation on capital or liquidity in the Basel approach. And it's striking that the US, UK, Sweden and Switzerland have all imposed higher requirements in the Basel minimum. The approach in the European Union is very different. And this was the great clash that we had between translating Basel III into the European law. They didn't want a level playing field and a minimum. They wanted absolute harmonization. So that was a minimum and a maximum. Well, that really put, I think, the UK, would have put the UK at a serious disadvantage because the US and the UK, in my judgment, have been much more successful in recapitalizing our banking system and, it, and trying to promise the rest of the world that a safer banking system with more liquidity and more equity finance in it is actually better equipped to serve the real economy and better able, therefore, to attract funding from the private sector. So financial services are the second area. The third is agriculture, because now we have a chance to think again quite differently about how or whether we subsidize agriculture and in what kinds. Do we focus on the environment? What do we focus on? There's a real chance here to think it through afresh. And the fourth area, which I think is one that hasn't received sufficient attention, is Northern Ireland. Because there's no doubt that, uh, that our friends south of the border are worried about what, this imp what the Brexit vote means for establishing a land frontier between the UK and the EU. And I think there is a lot of scope for trying to encourage cooperation between the UK government and the Dublin government on helping Northern Ireland develop economically and working out in a pragmatic way you know, what all this does mean for Northern Ireland. There were discussions about tax policy for Northern Ireland before all this came up. There's a problem, there has been a problem with the banking system there. This is an opportunity again to try and produce greater cooperation between Ireland and the United Kingdom because many of the arrangements we have already such as the movement of people between our countries go way beyond our membership of the EU. There, there's a bilateral arrangement there and we can build on that.